Hello, my friends, Bella Maldonado here, and I wanted to share this Oracle deck that I recently got in the mail. I know it's been a while since I've had a video, but you know, life gets in the way. And before I did another art video, I wanted to sneak this one in. This was a Oracle deck that I actually stumbled upon on Kickstarter. And as soon as I saw it, I just fell in love with the color palette, with the imagery, and I love that it was an oracle deck because I do have enough tarot decks, I think. I think I have to kind of pull myself back a little, but I don't have many oracle decks. I just have one other one, actually, that was gifted to me, and this is the very first one that I bought on my own, and it's called Wisdom of the Shadow, and it is by Jenny Han and Jessica Ricchetti. And this, I believe I saw it on Kickstarter around October and it came to me in the mail about two weeks ago. So I was so excited to open it up. I only went through it once and I thought, you know, for sure, this definitely needs to have a flip through video. So I wanted to share this deck with you guys. So here we go. This is the little book that it comes with. And um, it's got, you know, like other little books that come with decks, they have a description of each of the cards. And what I like is that it also includes a couple of spreads that you can use. So there's a spread in here. I think it goes from a one card spread all the way up to a five card spread. And of course, you can create whatever spreads you like but I like that they recommend a couple of here that would work best with this deck so that's the book and here are the cards this deck has 44 cards and check out these backs aren't those amazing I just I mean the color palette I just ugh, this is my color palette I love it so much and according to the description, um, this deck is meant for self-discovery and soul work and things that have to do with transformation. So if you want to really dig deep, this is the deck to work with. So let's take a look at some of these. This is Authenticity. So we've got quite a few phrases written in here the heart in the center that says, I am here, I will never leave you. This looks like it says, don't leave, but there might be more. It looks like there's some words in here that are kind of written in reverse or like a mirror image. Very interesting, authenticity. Balance. Love this, using those contrasting colors of orange and blue which always work well in, a, in an art piece. Balance, love it. Boundaries, wow. Get the F away from me. You have this person in the middle and they look like they're being protected by layers and layers and layers of boundaries that they've tried to set for themselves, interesting. I can't wait to really dig deep into that book and and see uh, the meanings that the artist and the author came up with. This one is change. Look at that sun. Beautiful. Confusion. This actually reminds me a lot of my, my first art piece that I did on my channel with, with the heart that I made out of rose petals and it had all those little divisions drawn into the heart. And the heart had a little chunk of it missing. So this is very reminiscent of that when I think back on it. Connection. Oh, beautiful. It has such a nice warm feeling to it. Courage. Somebody in a boat going down a river with all these monsters on the side. Dependency. These arms look like they're like fish or scales of a fish. Oh, here's some on the body too. Maybe a mermaid of some kind. Again, this is, I think, the second time that I'm actually looking at the images here. I haven't had a chance to really 
dig deep, but I can't wait. But I really wanted to share this with you guys as soon as I could. This one is called Discomfort. It looks like a lot of heartburn there. Yipes. God, I do love this color palette. I don't know what it is about it, but it really draws me in. Dissolution. Looks like a whirlpool. Oh yeah, there's some fish here. Interesting. Doubt. Looks like she might be underwater with the bubbles coming out. Emotion. Wow. Looks like we got a figure of a body and a heart and some water over here. Water always represents emotions of some kind in tarot. I wonder if that's the same with the oracle deck. Emptiness. Mm. It's a great one. Expectations. Wow, a lot of words. A lot of words on this one. Dear, you are loved. That's silly. You're working her to death. We have to do better. Not good enough. Yeah, it looks like this card is full of expectations. Fear. These are great because each image to me, like it really, it really makes you feel because the colors, because of the, the vibrant colors, it just, you know, as soon as you look at a new image, it just spark something in you frustration i like this color combo as well G greed look at this little guy my life my money my time my win my 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 <laughs> reminds me a lot of the four of coins with that person sitting down and he's got two feet on his coins and he's got a grabbing onto the coins to his chest and the coin on his head. This is great. Grief. Mm, there's a lot of grief going on in this card. Identity. Interesting. She's wearing a mask. She has snakes. It looks like it snakes as her hair. A la Medusa. Very nice. Inner child. Oh, wow, yes. You can see the inner child right there on the torso of the body. Integration. Yeah, like all these cards, they just, I don't, again, I don't know if it's the colors or the artwork, but they really do make you feel something. This one's intrusion. Get all these hands reaching out and this person trying to cover their body to protect themselves from all the intrusion. Wow. Judgment. Ooh, this one's kind of eerie with all these hands. Looks like they're, I don't know, this looks like an eye to me, but who knows, maybe maybe it's something else. Letting go, oh yes. This does look like letting go, just letting all the yuckiness escape and release from your body, I love it. Metamorphosis. So this looks like it could be an eye, but also in the eye, I see a shape of a body. Someone who's kind of in the fetal position, sort of. Interesting. You gotta read up on this one. Or maybe it's a leaf. I don't know, an eye or a leaf with a body inside. Very interesting card. Gotta look that one up. Opening, this is the cover of the box. Love the colors, love them. You have a body, 
inside another body with the hands and the gate that's open. Yeah, this is great for opening, very nice. Pain. You know, this is an interesting one because I've seen other cards in this deck that look more painful than this pain card. But at the same time, I mean, you can see this pain radiating from all the way at the bottom. And perhaps they're trying to release the pain from their hands. This is another one that I'm looking forward to reading the description on. The third eye. Kind of looks like a release of pain almost. Oh, what's this one? Panic. Wow. Yes. Yes, that is what panic looks like. <laughs> that is fantastic. Love it. There's just so much going on, just kind of how your brain works when you're in the middle of a very panicked situation. Mm. Rage. Yep, there is a lot of rage going on here. Again, just oh, these colors, I love them. Reflection. Very nice. Resilience. Look at this heart. This also reminds me of the first art piece that I did for this channel with a crackling heart made out of rose petals. But uh, here, I don't think they're rose petals, but they do look very similar. Resistance. No, 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 no. The small tiny head and their body you can see looks like either a road. I can't tell if it's a road or a river, probably a road. Then you see mountains and clouds and birds in the background. Rising. Yes, this is clearly a phoenix rising from the flames. Gorgeous. Sadness. Mm. Self-embrace. Oh, I love this. Like the orange and the reds together. Love it. Sensuality. Another one with a great color palette. It's just so striking. Shame. Oh yeah, this one definitely screams of shame. Look at that. You have this giant body with a little body inside just kind of holding on to itself. And all of these, I think these are spotlights shining on the shame, or at least trying to anyway. Soul care. Nice. Tenderness. Look at the little flowers along the edge of the body here. Truth. The heart with the flames. Wisdom. This kind of reminds me of the hermit in a tarot deck, but the light is coming from within. This is very nice. Vulnerability. Look at me, see me, love me, tell me I'm okay. actually looks like the the logo for Black Lives Matter. How will I, I'm assuming that's meant to say survive, it gets cut off. Yeah. 
Am I enough? How can I do it? Wow. Yeah, this is a great card. Voice. There is a lot of voice in here. <laughs> this looks like a... Like the logo for Rolling Stones with the big red lips. Yeah, this one, this is very loud, very loud and very clear. This is a great one for a voice. And victory. That's great. You know, this also kind of reminds me of uh, the Burning Man logo. If you've seen the logo over the years, it's pretty much like this body with the legs and the arms stretched out. Victory. And there's some little bodies down here trying to, I think, pull them down. But I don't think they're being successful. This is such a great deck. I am so happy that I found this on Kickstarter. This is a fun deck, and I'm, who knows, maybe... Even though I've been using tarot decks to make my art, maybe I can use this oracle deck for a little inspiration as well. Although, I don't know, there's so much art going on in, in those cards themselves. I, I don't know what else I can add to it. But, but I mean, I think they'll definitely inspire some interesting things. So who knows in the future when I'm a little bit more comfortable with the various meanings of the cards and how I can kind of all pull them together, I might... I might use this deck. So what do you think, you guys? Not bad, right? So, I mean, if you're interested, you know, definitely check them out. I mean, <laughs> this is definitely not sponsored. They have no idea I exist, but you can you can check them out at www.wisdomoftheshadow.com. Here is the, the URL. You can see it down here. But this is just oh, fantastic. I, I can't wait. Can't wait to dig deeper into this. So uh, thank you, Jenny Hahn and Jessica Ricchetti, for putting together such a great deck. I'm excited to use it. And if you guys get a hold of it, let me know what you think. All right. Until the next time when we're ready to do some art, I hope you'll be arting along with me. Till next time. Bye.